I am actually a huge fan of Ruth Kaniuri and her movies. I mean, she's actually someone that I've admired and I would love to work with her someday. But for some reason, lately, I have lost interest in her movies and her channel. The reason being that I'm beginning to get so used to her movies, her actors and the storyline that I can always almost tell what is going to happen at the end of the movie even before I watch it. Now this is not in any way to talk down on her craft because she's undeniably good at her craft and she has been able to raise a bar for herself that a lot of people are trying to contend with. But I am here to talk about this whole silent competition between Ruth Kadiri 247 Movies and Omoni Oboni TV. So guys, let's actually get straight to the realistic fact of who I think is actually cutting it for me and why I think that this beef needs to come to an end. Okay, so if you have been a YouTuber and you have been a Ruth Gadiri lover and you've loved Omoni Obuli in movies even before she came to produce it, on youtube you would agree with me that these two women are actually good in their various fields omoni oboli has actually been an actress that i have loved and admired as well for a long time particularly for the fact that she is so beautiful and for a mother at her age she has really really kept a really nice physique that a lot of women admire and aspire to achieve so guys, I am actually of the opinion that Ruth Kadiri needs to employ the services of more creative story writers or storytellers because her storylines are actually beginning to seem like they are recycled romantic movies and it is beginning to get boring for me that I'm actually getting to lose interest in her channel. Omani Oboli, on the other hand, amazingly, based on my observation, has actually been really creative with the movies that i have watched on her channel so many bloggers allege that some posts that ruth kadiri was making on her social media pages were channeled towards omoni oboli this could be true this cannot be true i do not know for sure but for some reason I definitely am convinced that the reason why a lot of people, especially the likes of Omoni Oboli and others, came to YouTube because Ruth Kadiri actually showed them that there is gold on YouTube that you can come and mine. Now, it might actually be that Omoni Oboli is not even in competition with Ruth Kadiri. Neither would it be that Rukadiri is even in competition with Omoni Oboli. I just feel like people just have ways of trying to look for negativity where there is none. Yes, Ruth Kadiri wouldn't have liked what happened between Aronini and Omoni Oboli. But I think this has nothing to do with the producer. Why? Because Aronini is an adult and truly people know what they want to do when they do it i actually think her anger is actually channeled at the fact that a lot of people have seen what she has built for so long and they are trying to find a way to pull it down or actually rip her glory off her now talking about the creativity part guys guys let's be honest let's really be honest omoni oboli has some really really nice movies on her channel i'm not in any way trying to promote her or trying to say I like her more. I don't really like the both of them differently. They're actually on the same level for me in terms of my likeness for them and their craft. So this has nothing to do with personal preference or emotional decisions. I'm just saying that the movies that I have watched on Emoni Oboli TV have actually had more diverse storylines as compared to Ruth Kadiri movies. But again, we need to actually look at things differently. Omoni Oboli came into the industry like it's barely up to a year. So it is expected that she should be able to have diverse storylines. Ruth Kadiri has been on this space for a very long time. So for some reason, you shouldn't expect that her storylines will always be as diverse as we expect them to be. Now the question is, can Omoni Oboli keep up with diversity for as long as Ruth Kadiri has kept up 
with content on this space for as long as she has done now i'm beginning to think that omoni oboli might not really be able to keep up with it the way ruth kadiri has because ruth kadiri has been on this space for a very long time and she grew organically but then again i think ruth kadiri is beginning to become too comfortable with the romantic movies in her comfort zone that we are in seeing diversity now guys with all of these things that i am saying what is the essence of this video i am just trying to say firstly ruth kadiri needs to leave the romantic movie scene a little bit and diversify with other stories that are unpredictable it's almost as if a lot of us can already predict her movies even before we watch it and i actually think that actually spoils the fun secondly i don't actually think that there is some kind of beef between these two ladies now it is natural and it is expected that when someone is trying to you know tarnish your image or trying to spoil your hard work something you've used for a very long time you should feel some sort of way and react some sort of way i think that was actually what happened in the case of ruth kaduri eronini and omoni oboli i don't really think these two ladies actually have some sort of beef and truly you don't always have to be friends or in good terms with everybody which is okay thirdly for what i am seeing now although it might change in the future omoni oboli tv is actually giving me what i really want to see when i go to a movie channel right here on youtube if you're looking for a movie and that will keep you glued to your screen and will give you that diverse storyline with different actors that are always always good at delivering then omoni oboli tv is a place for you to go to if you also want to watch romantic movies that would actually leave butterflies in your stomach then you should visit rukadiri tv but these two ladies need to actually let go of whatever beef is coming between them and find a way that it can work together so we would get to enjoy more movies rather than focusing on who to follow what producer does what and who delivers the way that we expect so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you guys actually understand the fact that these two ladies are actually doing really well and i wish that there is nothing like a beef between them women should actually support a lot of women and we need to let go of this whole rivalry because in the real sense we can all win together i would like to see more diversity from ruth kadiri just as i mentioned and i would hope that Omoni Oboli keeps up the pace that she has started with because if she continues like this, then she's going to do exceptionally well on this space. So for those of you who already know, I am Angel Mimi, like I like to sign out. I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully. So keep your comments simple and straight to the point. Bye. <laughs>